Right, it's the 2nd of April, Sunday morning, we're going to meet the boys, we're going for breakfast for motorway and Flash's birthday at the food stop in Bridge North. Right, I've got to give a shout out to my daughter's friend Izzy, so this is for you Izzy Rascal. Izzy Rascal is from the Elite Selling Crew and West Side is best. There you go, Izzy. Told you I'd do it. Right. So we're going to meet Vix and Flash and the other boys. Gosh, I've got to get used to where the visor is on this helmet. And I bet you I bet my mic's in the wrong position. Let's have a look. Where's my mic? I know, it seems alright. Right, so we've got a little bit of a... little bit of a sad story. So, quite a few years ago, we met Vic at the Angel Pub in Stowerport. Vic was... really our first... Our first follower we met, so he's been with us from the beginning, and it was kind of Vic what kind of started us growing the group. Um, we never thought of it before then, so it was when Vic came along we did it, and Vic was encouraged by his brother Ken. So we got Vic Way, he was nicknamed Motorway, and his brother Ken Way, we called him Highway, anyhow, Ken. He was the one who was watching us and said, oh, you know, these guys are pretty local to us. They messaged us. Um, and me and Goose says, oh, yeah, we go to the Angel Pub in Staleport for a, a pint of Coke, now and again. So, anyhow, we arranged to meet up with them. And we struck it off with them straight away, got on with them straight away. And he was a great bloke, Ken was. Every time I'd go over for a coffee over to Vic's, I'd always hear Ken coming around the corner. Hello, Mav. He used to say it like that. He was a lovely bloke. Now, unfortunately, Ken passed away a few weeks ago. And, as you can imagine, it absolutely devastated Vic. Vic and Ken lived together. So they were brothers, but they was, they was best mates. They, they did everything together. Unfortunately, Ken, Ken never really got to come out on his bike with us. He had bikes, but I don't think he was the most confident on his bike, so we never really got to come out. So, sadly, yes, um, Vic lost Ken a few weeks ago. You know, it's such a shame. He was a lovely bloke. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details, but... Yeah, what a loss. And what a loss for Vic. So the story being was um, they both lived at home looking after the mother and Vic used to work and Ken was the carer, he'd look after mum. So obviously since we lost Ken, Vic had to give up work and he had to be the full time carer for his mum. Which the other side effect of that is, is Vic can't get out on his bike anymore. You know, unless we pre-arrange something for somebody to sit with his mum and to get her to the bathroom and give her a dinner and things like that. So, last weekend it was Vic's birthday and Flashes. Vic's was on the Friday, Flashes was on the Sunday. So we said to Vic, if we can arrange it, get someone to sit with your mum, we'll meet up and we'll take you for breakfast for your birthday. And that's the day, that's what we're doing. So really, this is the first time the boys have seen Vic since probably Lake Vermey. I mean, I've seen uh, Vic a few times because I do pop over to his house for a coffee. So this is really our first time of getting Vic out and meeting up with the boys. Now, hopefully, we've been trying to get things in place so, so Vic can still come to Switzerland because he's booked to come to Switzerland but obviously that's all out the window 
if he's got no one to sit with his mum for a week. So we're trying to sort that at the minute with his son. So Ken, um, we miss you buddy mate. He was a lovely bloke. So uh, we dedicate this episode of taking your brother out for breakfast to you and your memory. I'll put a couple of pictures up of Ken and also some of the footage when we very first met them. Ken, rest in peace brother, ride I, and we'll see you on the other side. Right, now we're not meeting at our usual place, so oh, look at it, it's empty. Because the last few times we've come here, there it is over there, that layby. It's been full of lorries, overnight lorries. And we can never get on there. So we've, a meet, we've agreed to meet at the petrol station down the road. So I think what I might do is, we either meet there or we meet there on the DVLA testing site. I think we might make this petrol station our new meeting point. At least, if anybody needs fuel or a drink, if they weren't there early, everything's here. So, I think this might be our new meeting point. So, if you're ever meeting us and you're coming off M5 Junction 3, just follow the signs for Kidderminster. That's this little road, and the petrol station is just down here on the left. Well, let's have a look. Let's see who's here. Might be the first. Hello. Here we go. Here's all the boys. Let's just leave that arm. Let's go meet the Vexter. Big boy why? because he's got a big vagina. It's when he grabs both the balls together, like, it looks like a brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Are we ready?
Vic is well excited and he bless him. How many ends left all night? Is that excited? Wait for Victor the spunk trumpet. How far is this place? I'm not, I'm not full building again yet. Yeah? From here? Yeah. About 20 minutes, 25 minutes from here. <laughs> it's a good time to play because sometimes the rear view is good. It's good to the mountains and the back of yeah. yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to do videos anymore, so I'm just going to literally film with you. Yeah. Then. I would, it was me, I would have like to plug it in my yeah, so where, hella socket. What have you got then? Just turning right. Happy birthday, Vic! Seventy years old.
I'll tell you what, we'll go we'll go in the we'll go in the other car park. Where should we go? Else, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to eat. Flash, what's that for us? Hey, don't want to eat. Flash, happy birthday, brother. Hello. Happy birthday, boy. What have we got, brother? What have we got? Here, mate. This is uh, just is for the inner, inner sanctum. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Anybody, I got one. Oh, what a guy. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, is that it? Everybody, everybody got a seat there, haven't they? Everybody got a seat. Sweet up to that. It's all, boys. Size thread. Yeah, that boss has had a new t-shirt. Happy <laughs> <laughs> gay. Look at the back. Thanks, guys. Classic. We couldn't let you go about to oh, strip a bud on your birthday. Oh! Happy birthday, Vic! Don't see you throw up any bits. Look at the jumps on the back. I'll see you where he's got it. He actually looks better. I'd do it. <laughs> you receive me. You receive me. You can't fucking win, can you? Come on! They were dangling about over your head, they were! Come on! I got him! It's not the same down here, Right then, so we've just left the boys and Vic, they've gone on to Maximamoto to go and get some goodies, Vic's heading home now, so it was nice to see everyone, Ooh, get everyone together, it was absolutely rammed at the bike cafe. Right, let's go home, let's uh, have a bit of music. There we go, we are back home. Right then, we're done. Next ride, Church Stretton. Laters, alligators. <laughs> 